Dr. Filani has been pushing the Onoizim style of art and he reminds me of our artist for this week who was one of the brains behind the Uli art movement. Nigerian painter, a native of Abatete in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, who received his first artistic training at Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, Kaduna State. He received a doctorate in art history from Indiana University in 1978, writing his dissertation on Igbo architecture. He has taught art and art history at the University of Nigeria since 1970, becoming a member of the Insuka Group. More recently, he has been a fellow of the Metropolitan Museum of Art and of Howard University. Along with Uteo Keke, he was among the first Nsuka artists to develop an interest in Uli, and his drawings and watercolors display a strong affinity to the system. His human figures frequently possess elongated tattoo. His human figures frequently possess elongated bodies and limbs, and he often makes use of negative space. His subjects are mainly drawn from Igbo culture from the Biafran War. More recently, his art has become more concerned with Nigerian social conditions. On our Works of Art segment this week, I noticed a lot of young artists are really conscious about what's happening in the society. So lots of pieces are either spreading good cheer, talking about family values, or the dangers of war. And these are your Works of Art for this week. It begins with this work called Gladness of Heart, an acrylic on canvas piece done by Wisdom Azu, who explains that it gives him so much joy when he sees people smiling and happy. There is too much hate and bitterness in the world. People should try to be happy and put a smile on someone's face because we came with nothing and we will leave with nothing. To this other piece done by Don Okes is called Strings of Glory. It's a soft pastel and charcoal pencil work of art. Don was inspired by this poem written by Daniel. It goes, I sat on a rooted seed from a tree, shaded my shame and wondered the awesome handiwork. Then I look up my inner voice to spread his fame. With a string in my hand, I sang his name. Then this other work of art is done by Femi Adedeji. He calls it Family Love. It's a wonderful illustration and he believes that it speaks for itself because family matters a lot. If you don't love your neighbor, you don't love God. And it's done with pencil on paper, charcoal and a graphite as well. To this work done by Henry. It's a pencil composition drawn on paper and it was rendered digitally in Adobe Photoshop for a novel. To this other work called Royal Melody, it's a colored pen on cardboard work. Nature inspires this artist and he's trying to depict a woman using beautiful colors. Salaudi Mustafa has this one. He calls it Evolution of Black Slavery. It's a watercolor and charcoal work of art where he looks at the evils of slavery. Another work of art is also talking about the dangers of war. It's called Unfold and is done by this artist who calls himself Ancestral. Another artist preaching peace is Ejiru with this work called Brotherly Love. We don't have to be born of the same parent before we see ourselves as brothers. Everyone carries a symbol of importance and there is only one race, the human race. Very nicely put, Ejiru. And those are your works of art for this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. It's nice to see artists contributing to the national discourse by talking about these issues through their works of art that paint a clearer picture of what's happening in the Nigerian society, don't you think? Let me know your thoughts about it. Let the conversation continue on any of our platforms. Still to come on the program, 
a lady shows her audience what it means to be African and a woman. Join us again in a moment.